what's up y'all it's your girl kenata m from raw elegance empire and let's get into this video so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can pretty much wash your brushes without doing them like i used to do as you can see this one has suffered some damage um but i learned a trick similar to what i already do but without messing up the bristles potentially so as you can see here this is the this is supposed to be an 18 inch brush by dynamic nail supply that kind of got messed up i have pre-soaked this stuff this one is pretty much there i kind of forgot it i'm not gonna lie in the stuff that we're gonna talk about but i'm gonna soak this a little bit more just for video purposes and to make sure everything is out because this was cooked up with acrylic this is this brush is uh in the 18 and this was one of my uh, first good brushes which was kalinsky brush from alpha brush i believe this was a size 12 or 10 or one of those i believe it was a 12 if i'm not mistaken but this is that brush which i already soaked this in my then the in the stuff i'm going to show you so this one is pretty much clean it doesn't really need to be soaked that much more but just to make sure we're going to soak this one a little bit more but the main focus is going to be the dynamic nail supply brush and this is a brush that i got from uh another company which was supposed to be a, a big brush i forgot the size i ordered i think it was supposed to be I think this was a 10 and this was supposed to be a 12 or something like that. I don't remember, but whatever it was, it was supposed to be big and it looked super small and I was like, what is this? So it was like very much on the smaller side. So I rarely use this brush because it's super, 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 super small. And this is a newer brush. I wanted to get this because it was size 18. I wanted to try to practice with bigger brushes. So the stuff we're going to need today is you're going to need some cuticle oil, any type of cuticle oil. This is some I got from Sally's. It smells so good. You can use homemade cuticle oil from uh, different items as well, uh, natural items, or you can use uh, cuticle oil that you get out of the store like this one. Of course, you're going to need your brushes. You need some type of container to soak the brushes in. Um, this is the container I usually put my monomer in. I was using this container at one time, but it's so wide and I had to put a lot more acetone in it. So I would recommend a container like this. This was actually a shot glass that I got from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three and I just use it for cleaning different utensils and uh, getting acrylic out and different stuff like that. Something that you can sit the brush in, preferably something that is like this, so it won't be super wide and you'll waste more product that way and have to be there holding it. You will need some monomer as well. I have our monomer here in this bottle. Kind of don't really want to open my dynamic nail supply. One, because the monomer is good, but it's just super strong and it gives me a headache sometimes. So that's bad. So that's why I wanted to make sure our monomer was a low odor monomer. So, so to jump in first, you want to take your container and pour some, oh, almost forgot. You're going to need some acetone. Um, this is not actually by this brand. I have a gallon of acetone. I just refilled this bottle up. Um, I had got this from Amazon when I did order this, but this is a 16 fluid ounce, but I have a gallon of acetone here. As you can see, I just take this um, and fill it up with the other one, but this is the real kind of acetone that I have. It's 100% acetone. Some acetone in here. I guess I'll do it over here. It is kind of uh, got acrylic or dirty. I wiped it out a little bit, but because I had previously soaked it in here, so I'm not really worried about all of that. I wiped it out. Um, it's the same stuff been in here, so I'm not really worried about that. So if you do see that, just disregard that. So you just take your brush, you just soak it in there, make sure. 
that the monomer, I mean the pure acetone is not going on the silver part of your brush or the metal part of your brush or the this part where the paint is at, none of that. Just where the bristles is, you wanna push it in there a little bit to get it in there. You can go in and out, play with it for a little bit. All right. We're gonna bring this brush back to life. All right. As I said, I did this with these brushes already, so I really don't need to let them soak. So I'm only going to put them in there for about five minutes. I'll probably leave this one in here about another 10 to 20 minutes because it already soaked for a while. Um, and then we will be back and I will show you what is the next step to do. Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like after I... um took it out of the acetone so it's looking like this and it's got a lot of short bristles from me soaking it in acetone and then pulling trying to pull out the acrylic with like a cuticle pusher thank you baby with like a cuticle pusher and stuff like that and yeah it kind of looks crazy i'm gonna have to try to cut that and stuff like that but we'll see um, but yeah, y'all can see, but all of the acrylic is pretty much out. Yep, it's pretty much out of the brush. You cut some of these little sparse hairs on the side here. All right, guys, so I decided to crimp the brush, um, because it wasn't crimped. Um, so I just sped this part up because, um, the video wasn't really about this, but I still left it in there just so y'all can kind of see like how simple it is to crimp the brush. So yeah, so we'll be back after um, we finish crimping the brush. As you can see here, um, I am pretty much going in and cutting all of the sparse hairs off of the brush um, just so I can pretty much, you know, make it as good as possible when reviving this brush. So I'm just pretty much showing y'all that here. soak a little bit longer because the object or the idea is to just let it soak don't try to pull it out with a cuticle because that's how you get your brush to start looking uh, the bristles starting to come off and stuff like my brush and you don't really want to have to cut all the hairs off and stuff like I'm having to do so well not all the hairs but you get the point Alright guys, so that's as good as I'm going to get it right now. So we're going to leave that like that. This is with just the acetone, right? And these are the other two brushes that wasn't as bad. They just really needed to be cleaned, but they didn't. wasn't as bad as this brush, which was caked up with product and such stuff like that. So next step I'm going to do... For this is to get my container 
Um, you can use your same container or a different container, but I'm gonna put my monomer in this container. I'm not gonna use the same one I had the uh, acetone in. And the next step is you want to put the brush like this to get out any air bubbles like this in the monomer. And this also moisturizes the brush because acetone is very drying. If you know anything about acetone and pure acetone is even more drying. So we're just gonna put that in there a couple times. Swipe it on the edge, put it in there a little bit more. Make sure you get it in there, all of the bristles as you can. And you want to do all your brushes like this that you are cleaning out or reviving. Alright, so this is what it's looking like after the monomer. As you can see, we have a little flyaways. So as you go, if you see flyaways, you can cut them off or you can leave some of them up there. You may not be able to get all of them, but if it looks like I can get it, since I'm reviving this brush, I'm going to do that. Yeah. But if your brush looks like these, most likely you will not have to do that. But if it's, you're reviving your brush, I recommend cutting off the ones that's gonna get in the way when you're laying down application. So you wanna do this for like a couple minutes, probably like maybe five, two to five minutes, something like that. Um, just to make sure it really moisturizes your brush. You can just let it soak in there if you want, like this. You can just leave it in there, let it soak for uh, two to five minutes. Um, if you're reviving the brush, it might need a lot more. Um, so yeah, you can just, like I said, just let it soak after you run it around like that for a couple of minutes, or like two minutes or so, just to get that moisturizing in. But we're not done moisturizing yet. We're definitely going to do some more moisturizing, so. All right, so that is that. That's gonna be all we're gonna do for this brush. I'm not gonna really let mine soak. I'm going to just um you know moisturize them like this because we're on camera. But if you're doing yours after you do this little number, you can um let it soak. But as you can see, this one is sticking up. But I wouldn't cut that off. I would just try to get it back together because it's not really damaged bristles it's just from the way i was moving the brush so i'm going to show y'all it should go back in place as you can see just like that it's in place so you don't have to do that with these kind of brushes but if it's like an old damaged brush that really wasn't taken care of or you was trying to take care of it but you um was using cuticle pusher or stuff to pull the stuff out of the brush and you was doing it a little bit too hard and it was pulling out bristles it's best to do it this way so that it's less likely to damage the brush bristles so you want to just do that in here this brush i don't really need to do it too much because it's not as much hairs in this brush so it shouldn't take long so i wouldn't even let this brush soak but if it's a if it's a um, brush that's pretty much you need to revive, then I recommend trying to let it soak just so that moisture can get back in the brush. So I just want to show y'all the difference. This brush done ha has been drained on the paper, as you can see. And this is the brush that hasn't got any monomer, just been cleaned with the acetone. And this is the other brush as you can see it already looks more moisturized and conditioned 
even though this is the older brush so it's just kind of like the hair is everywhere but don't mind that so now I'm gonna do this brush last Alright, and that is just like that. It's done. It's very simple with the brushes that you don't mess up, you know. If you keep on cleaning, it won't take as long. Especially the smaller brushes will not take as long. So as you can see, they all have been moisturized. So the last step into this process to really moisturize and condition them is yes, you're going to put some coconut oil on them. So the monomer is kind of like their conditioner and then you're going to put some coconut oil on them. So let's do that. I'm giving you one more look as you can see. Boom. Okay, so let's put the coconut oil. You just literally put it over the bristles like this and you can see it sucking it up I don't know if y'all can see that on camera but it's just sucking it all up and I try to put a lot more on these bristles especially if you're reviving a brush and not only that is this brush is way larger so you want it to get inside the middle of the brush as well and then you want to flip it over to the other side after you see that it's soaking it up it needed all that moisture and then it's just like a plant it's going to soak up what it needs and then you flip it to the other side you can see the difference and you get some more cuticle oil and do the same thing to the other side
to do this every time you clean your brush and boom you just fix your brush do not throw out your old brushes do not throw them out because you can definitely save them so let's do these I still got oil on my glove so I'm gonna put some of the oil from my glove on these so it won't go to waste okay okay all right I'm gonna put a little bit just a little bit up here let's see is it gonna suck it up yep keep putting the drops until I see it's not really sucking it up no more as fast because then we know it has the moisture okay let's flip it okay slowing down the more sucking it up so we're going to do the same thing boom y'all it is super super moisturized and good looking okay so on to the next one all right let's put the moisture on this one this one's very small so it's probably not gonna need as much As you can see, it's soaking it up, but it's starting to do it a little slower. So soon we're going to be done here with the moisture. So I'm going to flip it. And this is this one, which is the smallest one, as you can see. This is what it's looking like. So I'm going to keep going like this to make sure it's moisturized. And yeah, that's going to be the final look. Alright guys, so as y'all can see, we revived a brush, which was this one. We've revived it. Y'all seen what it was looking like in the beginning. And look at it now. Boom. So we revived the brush. We cleaned these brushes and moisturized them very goodly. Or good. Very good. Goodly is not a word. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, and then boom. Yes, so oh, the back of this brush I forgot to show y'all. So let me show y'all because this the hair is just all out of whack, but it looks way better than it was looking. I'll tell you that. So this is the back. There is some hairs that I can cut off, but I'm going to leave those little hairs. As you can see, this is what it looks like. This is the other side. Then, boom. I got some stuff up there from my glove. But as you can see, this is how you will clean and moisturize your brush after each application. And you will be on your way. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching. Bye. 
all right guys so this is what it's looking like after i um took it out of the monomer i mean not monomer i keep saying monomer the acetone so it's looking like this and it's got a lot of short bristles from me soaking it in acetone and then pulling trying to pull out the acrylic with like a cuticle pusher thank you baby with like a cuticle pusher and stuff like that and yeah it kind of looks crazy i'm gonna have to try to cut that and stuff like that but we'll see um but yeah y'all can see but all of the acrylic is pretty much out yep it's pretty much out of the brush so that's pretty much that um as you can that, that is pretty much that so as you can see here this is what it's pretty much looking like um i kind of want to, i kind of want to cut some of these little sparse hairs on the side here bay so i'm gonna try to cut that but I'm gonna crimp it with these pliers that came in my drill kit that I bought from uh, Walmart. Yes, baby. Can you pass me them scissors on that table? I think I, I think we left it in there when I was harvesting that the lettuce. Okay, so you just take it yeah, all the way at the top and push. Dang, this thing. Ugh, it's hard. My freaking. <clears throat> Crimp this piece. Oh, you gotta clamp it. Uh-huh. <sighs> this is almost done. Uh... I'm probably the same way you had it clamped. Uh-huh. Alright, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Uh -huh, thanks. Okay, so as y'all can see, it's crimp now. That's all you have to do to pretty much crimp your brush. Um, before I was using it without it being like that. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to cut these hairs off. Well, not all of them, but. This little curly hair is just, just poking out. See, you don't have to do this if um your brush is not like mine's, but seeing that your girl kind of messed it up, you know, we got to do what we got to do. All right. So this is the brush. We can dip it in some acetone real quick just to see what it looks like wet. So I can see if I need to cut something else off. Alright, so I dipped it in the acetone. And this is what it's looking like wet now. And it still has some little frizzlies. So I'm going to cut those off. Try to cut as much as I can off. To make the brush as good as new so this is like reviving your old brush and how to clean your old brush at the same time or clean a brush at the same time so y'all getting a 2 one one all right so now this is what the brush is looking like y'all make sure y'all wear gloves when y'all do this because you don't want to be touching the brush barehanded because you can get allergic it can make a cause of allergic reaction or whatever the case may be so this is the brush and again already crimped it as y'all can see that little crimp line um and now i just want to make sure i get the sides crimped a little bit more all right
as you can see, there's some acrylic right there. I'm trying to pull it out with my fingers so I won't have to get the um, cuticle pressure. But if you would like, you could just let it soak a little bit longer. Because the object or the idea is to just let it soak. Don't try to pull it out with a cuticle because that's how you get your brush to start looking. Uh, the bristles starting to come off and stuff like my brush. And you don't really want to have to cut all the hairs off and stuff like I'm having to do. So, well not all the hairs but you get the point. Alright guys, so that's as good as I'm going to get it right now. So we're going to leave that like that. This is with just the acetone, right? And these are the other two brushes that wasn't as bad. They just really needed to be cleaned, but they didn't wasn't as bad as this brush, which was caked up with product and such stuff like that. So next step I'm going to do for this is to get my container. Um, you can use the same container or a different container, but I'm going to put my monomer in this container. I'm not going to use the same one I had uh, acetone in. And the next step is you want to put the brush like this to get out any air bubbles like this in the monomer. And this also moisturizes the brush because acetone is very drying if you know anything about acetone and pure acetone is even more drying so we're just gonna put that in there a couple of times swipe it on the edge put it in there a little bit more make sure you get it in there all of the bristles as you can And you want to do all your brushes like this that you are cleaning out or reviving. Alright, so this is what it's looking like after the monomer. As you can see, we have a little flyaways. So as you go, if you see flyaways, you can cut them off. Or you can leave some of them up there. You may not be able to get all of them. But if it looks like I can get it. Since I'm reviving this brush. I'm going to do that. Yeah. But if your brush looks like these. Most likely you will not have to do that. But if it's, you're reviving your brush. I recommend cutting off the ones that's going to get in the way. When you're laying down application. So you want to do this for like a couple minutes, probably like maybe five, two to five minutes, something like that. Um, just to make sure it really moisturizes your brush. You can just let it soak in there if you want, like this. You can just leave it in there, let it soak for uh, two to five minutes. Um, if you're reviving the brush, it might need a lot more. Um, so yeah, you can just, like I said, just let it soak after you run it around like that for a couple of minutes or like two minutes or so just to get that moisturizing in but we're not done moisturizing yet we're definitely going to do some more moisturizing so all right so that is that gonna be all we're gonna do for this brush I'm not gonna really let mine soak I'm going to just um you know moisturize them like this because we're on camera but if you're doing yours after you do this little number you can um let it soak but as you can see this one is sticking up but I wouldn't cut that off. I would just try to get it back together because it's not really damaged bristles. It's just from the way I was moving the brush. 
So I'm going to show y'all. It should go back in place, as you can see. Just like that. It's in place. So you don't have to do that with these kind of brushes. But if it's like an old damaged brush that really wasn't taken care of, or you was trying to take care of it, but you um, was using cuticle pusher or stuff to pull the stuff out, of the brush and you was doing it a little bit too hard and it was pulling out bristles it's best to do it this way so that it's less likely to damage the brush bristles so you want to just do that in here this brush I don't really need to do it too much because it's not as much hairs in this brush so it shouldn't take long so I wouldn't even let this brush soak but if it's a if it's a um, brush that's pretty much you need to revive, then I recommend trying to let it soak just so that moisture can get back in the brush. So I just want to show y'all the difference. This brush done ha has been drained on the paper, as you can see. And this is the brush that hasn't got any monomer, just been cleaned with the acetone. And this is the other brush. As you can see, it already looks more moisturized and conditioned, even though this is the older brush. So it's just kind of like the hair is everywhere, but don't mind that. So now I'm gonna do this brush last. right and that is just like that is done it's very simple with the brushes that you don't mess up you know if you keep on clean it won't take as long especially the smaller brushes will not take as long so as you can see they all have been moisturized so the last step into this process to really moisturize and condition them is yes you're going to put some coconut oil on them so the monomer is kind of like their conditioner and then you're going to put some coconut oil on them. So let's do that. I'm giving you one more look as you can see. Boom. Okay, so let's put the coconut oil. You just literally Put it over the bristles like this and you can see it sucking it up I don't know if y'all can see that on camera but it's just sucking it all up and I try to put a lot more on these bristles especially if you're reviving a brush and not only that is this brush is way larger so you want it to get inside the middle of the brush as well and then you want to flip it over to the other side after you see that it's soaking it up it needed all that moisture and then it's just like a plant it's gonna soak up what it needs and then you flip it to the other side you can see the difference and you get some more cuticle oil and do the same thing to the other side you know get it all nice and moisturized And then I will let it soak in there a little bit. Um, let it soak inside there a little bit. As you can see, it is very, very nice. If you flip the other side, this is what it looks like. Very moisturized. Very, very much so moisturized. As you can see, then I'm going to dab the excess off on the paper towel. 
just like that as well as shaping the brush I'm going to take my hand and go like this make sure you're wearing gloves again I can't stress that enough make sure you're wearing gloves that is very important make sure you're wearing gloves Boom. and as you can see just like that as you can see boom look at how moisturized that looks like it's crazy how moisturized it looks let me see if I can focus it okay look at how moisturized that looks like you can't tell me that this brush is not what it's supposed to be looking like because yes and then you want to do this every time you clean your brush and boom you just fix your brush do not throw out your old brushes do not throw them out because you can definitely save them so let's do these i still got oil on my glove so i'm gonna put some of the oil from my glove on these so it won't go to waste okay okay all right i'm gonna put a little bit just a little bit up here see is it gonna suck it up yep keep putting drops until I see it's not really sucking it up no more as fast because then we know it has the moisture okay let's flip it okay it's slowing down the more sucking it up so we're going to do the same thing boom y'all it is super super moisturized and good looking okay so on to the next one all right let's put the moisture on this one this one's very small so it's probably not gonna need as much As you can see, it's soaking it up, but it's starting to do it a little slower. So soon we're going to be done here with the moisture. So I'm going to flip it. And this is this one, which is the smallest one, as you can see. This is what it's looking like. So I'm going to keep going like this to make sure it's moisturized. And yeah, 
That's going to be the final look. Boom. All right, guys. So as y'all can see, we revived a brush, which was this one. We've revived it. Y'all seen what it was looking like in the beginning. And look at it now. Boom. So we revived the brush. We clean these brushes and moisturize them very goodly or good very good goodly is not a word <laughs> i don't think okay and then boom yes so oh the back of this brush i forgot to show y'all so let me show y'all because this the hair is all out of whack but it looks way better than it was looking i'll tell you that so this is the back there is some hairs that I can cut off, but I'm going to leave those little hairs. As you can see, this is what it looks like. This is the other side. And then, boom. I got some stuff up there from my glove. But as you can see, this is how you will clean and moisturize your brush after each application and you will be on your way all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank y'all for watching bye